Leo, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Welcome back. This is an energy reading, not a horoscope. I use oracle cards to pick up on Leo energy. So wherever Leo influences your natal chart, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Mars, wherever it is, you can apply these energies for the next week or so. There's no dates because I've realized that people leave comments and, and are affected by videos that I uploaded four months ago. So um, it comes, the message comes to you when it's supposed to, but if you wanna get them hot off the press, Leo, then subscribe to the channel, help the channel grow, and click, uh, click that bell so that you get um, notified when I've uploaded all the new stuff. Uh, let's start with the Oracle card reading. I always create a full tarot card spread out of the Oracle card spread, an extended reading that personalizes the message and goes deeper and be, basically picks up on details, um, the nitty gritty. So if you want to join me for that, please, the link is below. I would love to have you. Leo, 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 Leo energy, Leo energy. Leo energy. Look at, look at, something wants to slip out the back. Leo. Stealth mode. What are you sneaking up? What are you, what are you doing? It's like, it, just as much confidence, sing your own song. <laughs> okay. This is just kind of perfect for you guys. Um, no, that's a stereotype and it's not fair, but this is it. It's like knowing yourself, getting back to a strong sense of who you are and being able to share those gifts with the world. It's almost like your sneak attack though. Like it's like if you can, it's like you took a break for a second. Um, not in loving yourself, but maybe you did. Maybe that's why. This is something that's coming on the tail end of coming out of sort of a firestorm of questioning and disbelief and a really emotional time that was mercury retrograde in pisces it really messed up fire signs big time just so that you know and if you're feeling like you're just coming out of the fire you're able to like like oh, canary freed i'm free i snuck out you done snuck out leo you done snuck out the back and you're done. It's it's almost like you got to a point where you did not care about anything but being free and being liberated and being happy again. Because I think that that's what it really was. It wasn't about getting one over on somebody or sneaking or not telling somebody. It was about putting yourself first, putting your happiness first, putting your needs first and wanting to be free, right? Um, singing your own song, singing your own praises, but it's more than that. It's about being free to be who you are out loud and not be worried or scared. It's also maybe having invented a new delivery, like delivering new ideas or new songs, new work to people, having something to share that you're really excited about, but maybe could not share because you were oppressed, suppressed, repressed, for some reason, and now it's like you're out, you're free, you're liberated. So there's liberation, but there's also celebration. Yeah, speak your own mind, speak your own words, speak out loud. After a long time of not being able to maybe put words to the thoughts, being all jumbled, extremely emotional, uh, feeling like just crazy, maybe even being sick, like getting that kind of like awakening sickness, but or actual sickness, you know, like, this energy of um, the air is clearing, finally. And, oh my God, you, it just, it's springtime. Oh, it's springtime. That's what it is. It's clearing out the, it's clearing out all that wintertime stagnation and letting yourself kind of like shake off the cold and feeling the warmth and the sun on your face again. Oh, bunch of energy popped out. Let's see what it is. Let spirit be your guide. Three plus two. Uh, this is a, a, an aerial view. Making sure you have a bird's eye view and know what's going on. Hawkeye in somebody. Keeping a real close tab on somebody. Looking at them, maybe even looking at them like you're hungry because you have canary as your crowning energy, but you know who eats the canary, right? So am I saying somebody wants to eat you? Maybe. 
No, I'm just saying, I'm saying somebody's hawkeyeing you. Take the lead. Maybe a bunch of people are hawkeyeing you. This is receiving messages from the ether. This is be progressive, jump out there, start, get going. Don't ask, in other words, don't ask permission. The universe is following your lead. Let spirit be your guide. That's the only person that you have to contend with. These two energies together remind me of the nine of pentacles. Standing very strong and secure in your power and your abilities and not looking for guidance. Maybe finally being recognized as the leader you know that you are. And finally, everybody else is acknowledging it too after a long, maybe even a few close calls of people being degrading or not being supportive or challenging you all the time, now stepping out as an actual leader. And having that leadership have more importance for you than actually what you do. If that makes any sense, it's not that you're, it's not that you're a fake or phony, not, not that at all, but actually realizing that the example that you set, the inspiration that you provide for people is actually more powerful and more important than what you originally did to get people's attention. Take time out. This is healing energy. Something is coming to a head. Um, usually it's a very defensive energy, like mama bear energy, like step back, watch it. You could be protecting somebody or standing up in somebody's defense. You could also be aggressively moving forward. This is a power card, but it's also shamanic energy, which is healing. It's like medicine man energy. So there's like healing people's pain, healing people's suffering, being a leader in terms of taking care of people who can't take care of themselves. This is very mama bear energy, Leo. So essentially, you're establishing yourself as a powerhouse that is on the side of the people. If that makes any sense at all. Hold on. Oh, this energy already came out. Oh, no. No. Okay. Central energy. Take a leap of faith. You know, Cancer got this in the same position. I think summertime, something's going to pop off. Like if you take a leap now, somewhere in the summertime is where you're going to land on your pot of gold. But take a leap now. This is also the number of three, which is divine intervention and divine timing. So what that's telling me is whatever you set into place now is going to have some major progressive outcomes, like advancement outcomes come the summertime. That's what I'm picking up. But central to your energy is just, once again, you're not looking for instruction. You're not asking for permission. You're just going to get going and shape the world into what you want it to be. Awakening to your power and your strength and your ability to cast a spell. Maybe even awakening to pitfalls. Finally be, this because there's a lot of protective energy here. Finally being able to discern, like having confidence in where to jump because now you see very clearly where all the traps are set and you know all the signs. It's almost like, it's almost like once you know how to pass the traps because you've survived them, you can get others through. Ooh, remember that scene from Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade? where Indiana is the one that figures them all out and then he goes back to sort of like uh, reveal them to everybody else so that the unworthy can come through. Not to say that the other people are unworthy, but it's almost like you've gone first. In some situation, perhaps having to do, well, not necessarily, with, I think it's in your career. You have gone first. You, you're the one that took all the pitfalls and got chased down by all the spiders and maybe maybe even got, you know, picked on or picked off by some of them. When pigs fly, use your mind wisely. So this is strategizing for the future, but it's also doing the impossible. So you're making a major breakthrough this week. Major breakthrough. Mostly of a realization. And people thought you'd never survive. You could have just survived a major ordeal in your life, Leo. Like you actually got through something that you were like, whoo, could have been a car accident, 
could have been uh, an illness, could have been recovery, could have been, um, uh, could have been just what, whatever, whatever, whatever. People, people putting you down or doubting you. You just came through. A hundred percent. And people did not believe that you would do this, but seven plus four is the energy of 11 two. two cards sitting right next to each other of you did the impossible. You're awakening to sort of the world and the layers of the world and not just seeing it for what it is, but seeing it for its potential and helping to design it. What are you in the midst of designing, Leo? Because you are in the midst of designing something and it's got a lot to do with the way that you see the world and no, 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 what you hope for the world. It's like the faith that you have has now become the, the blueprints for the future you're building. I know I just stuttered. I apologize. Hmm. Major realizations here. But it's not just realizations of you. It's, it, it's real, realizations that you're having. It's realizations that other people are having. They're trusting you. Come on, Leo, 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 Leo. These cards are suddenly gone stiff. People are trusting you. Time for a beginner mind. Eight plus four is 12. And that reduces down to three once again. Divine timing, holy trinity, getting things into balance, heart, body, mind, and spirit into balance. But this is once again also defensive energy, protective, using your wit, using your charm, using your words, using your, your sharpness um, to defend yourself or to show people that they shouldn't mess with you. Kind of stepping out, being able to use your... your um, intelligence and your wit and your charm but use it like like put it on your sleeve put it right out there for all to see i'm not somebody to mess with you have probably you have just charmed somebody that you thought you could never charm that was like this impossible person to break through somebody who was actually probably extremely defensive to you and maybe at one time was an adversary Ooh, picking up on that message. You see clearly now, this is your grounding energy. So this is Aquarius energy. You see clearly now. Seven, the energy of creation. This is, there is always enough Pisces, Pisces energy, swimming around, feeling good about yourself, expecting, um, accepting your emotions, feeling good about your emotions, and using your resources in a particularly wise way so that it extends them to their fullest capabilities, but always having enough resources, figuring out where the resources are going to come from, being able to see in advance, see far um, in the, not only in the, not in the future, but see through the darkness. So this is wisdom. This is Aquarius energy, truth coming out. So it's almost like the water and the truth swimming all around you and setting you free. What did I say? Freedom is yours. Also Aquarius energy, literally being released from all of this freaking emotion that was bogging you down. Now the emotion is surrounded by air and you're just liberated and freed. There was a lot that you were working through. Maybe you've been getting a lot of things in order, Leo, but it grounded you. It helped to solidify where you were going. And now with owl spirit, you see clearly now, hold on, nobody can, yeah, you've got an opportunity in your sights. You got a lot of prey and predator here. You've got an opportunity in your sights. And now you're not letting emotion get in the way or emotion is part of your fuel. But now you're certain of some, you could be certain of somebody else's feelings for you. What you are definitely certain of is either somebody or the crowd's feelings for you. You get their mentality now. Like you understand like where all the, like I said, where all the pitfalls are, where all the sticky strands in the spider web are. Now you know how to get the best of the situation that was getting the best of you. Ooh, let's flip this around. There you go. 
emotions in check, a fine, beautiful balance of thought, heart, and mind, and then soul, which is freedom because your soul is always free. It's the part of you that's never going to be bogged down because it's pure energy. So this is that full holy trinity here, grounding yourself. You have overcome something that was getting you down. And you have literally had to defend your position for quite some time. But you've defended it for just enough time. So that now, I think people are having faith in you. And you've got a lot to be happy about. Hmm. You see clearly now there is always enough. Freedom is yours. Hold on. See, this is really like shedding a lot of stuff that was bought, that was literally holding you down. You could be breaking out of debt. You could be finally paying things off because there are resources and there's abundance coming in now so that you can actually pay down your debt and move forward. There is literally a sense of debt being paid and you being released from it. Could be good fortune has come your way. Money may have come into your life so that you could basically escape all of these pitfalls and finally have your freedom. Something that you thought wouldn't happen for a long time. You geared up to be very, very defensive about it. Let Spirit be your guide. Take the lead and take time out. This is all faith. See, you have faith in yourself. But more than that, you, and this is why you're singing, your faith in the world has been restored. It's like finally people are coming through for you. Or your hard work is paying off. Let's get deeper into this. I'm going to go into tarot. I hope you'll follow me over. That link to the extended is below. And of course, it includes your love reading. I'll see you then.